Now, we are going to learn 8.2 Rules of Differentiation. So, Rules of Differentiation, this is for the basic rules. So, the derivative of a constant function, we call it constant rule. So, if k is a real number, the derivative of fx equals to k is f prime x equals to 0. So, in other words, the derivative of a constant function is 0. So, means that if any function is a number, only a number, when we differentiate the function that is a number or a constant, so it becomes 0. So, same here, we got y equals to 3. So, dy over dx equals to 0. And C, we have f x equals to e power of 3. So, it's a, e is a constant. So, if you use the calculator, then you find, you find that exponential or e, the value of e is around 2.7183 and then if we have power of 3 means that it's power of 3 here so this is a constant which is a number so when we differentiate a constant so it becomes 0 rules of number 2 the derivative of a function of the form x power of n where we call it power rule so if n is a real number, the derivative of fx equals to x power of n is f prime x equals to n times x power of n minus 1. Where the power, the actual power, we bring it in front to multiply with the x and then the power we minus with 1. And the rules number 3 is the derivative of a function of the form of the form k x power of n where we call it constant multiple rules so it's same as the power rule but we have a constant in front of the function x power of n so when we differentiate this kind of function so we need to dif um, multiply k where k is a constant with the power and then the power must be minus with one so, example 4, find the derivative of y equals to x power of negative 3 over 2. So, to find the derivative of this function, because of this uh, function, in terms of y, so we have to write dy over dx, and then follow the power rules. So, the power must be bring it in front, negative 3 over 2 and then x and then the power minus with 1 okay and then you need to simplify so you will get negative 3 over 2 x power of it's actually here over 2 means that if negative 1 is equals to negative 2 over 2 so negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5 over 2 so because of the power is negative, so we bring it down to make it proper fraction, where the power must be positive. So this is the last answer. And then same as B, we have fx equals to 1 over x squared. And if we bring the x power of 2 up here, so the power will be negative so to find f prime x where we need to differentiate this function x power of negative 2 so we bring the power in front negative 2 and then x power of negative 2 minus 1 so we will get negative 3 and because of the power is negative same as a so we bring it down back so it will give you negative 2 over x power of 3. So this is becomes the last answer.